Hello friends, how are you? I'm Ray of Sunshine and today we are going to be playing a really exciting new game called Killer Frequency. This is a puzzle game set in the 1980s where we play as a radio host. And did I mention? There's a killer on the loose. loose. But hold up, before we get started, please remember to like the video. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a member of the Sunshine Squad. Oh. Oh. Movement. Move with left stick. Move camera with right stick. Oh. Okay. I didn't know this was a thing. I thought we were just going to sit in the DJ booth. Very cool. Oh my. So we're just in an alleyway. Picking up objects. Okay. Interesting. Press R2 to pick up objects. Oh. All right. What did that say? Object interaction. You can hold two objects, swap objects between hands with, what does that say? L1, okay, I'm blind, sorry. Drop objects O, throw objects square, square? Throw objects triangle, L2 hold to place object, release when in a valid location. Okay, well, we all know my memory is shot, so I'm probably not gonna remember that. Oh, we can open? Okay, so triangle to throw objects, oh. That did, that did not go as far as I had hoped. Okay, is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. A few more objects. Can I pick any of these up? I don't know. Okay, let's close that. All right, so I'm a little worried right off the bat. Like, why are we going to need to throw objects? I thought I was just going to be sitting in a DJ booth. Anything interesting back here? We walk very smooth. I will say that. Nothing over here. Nope, don't like that. Okay, let's, can we get inside? Actually, should I, should I grab an object? <laughs> can I grab this? It looks like I should be able to. Okay, we've got a glass bottle. I'm sure that'll do a heck of a lot of good. I'm assuming we're supposed to go in here. It says something. Oh, I thought that said interesting objects. Inspecting objects, press, express. press square to begin inspecting. Okay, so I'm inspecting. Rotating. Okay, nothing interesting here. Square, okay, that, that's simple enough. What is over here? I feel like I need to explore a little bit. Crouch, okay, crouch. Again, don't like that it's telling me I can throw things and crouch, I was not expecting that. What have I gotten myself into? Opening doors, hold R2 and right stick in the direction indicated, okay. Oh, oh, okay, interesting. Oh, this is a little bit spooky. Um. Wow, okay. Okay. Oh man, I am, I'm already scared. Okay, here we are. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, no. <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But okay. if you're sure you don't want to... Do I need a tutorial on how to use the DJ desk? I would say yes, we, we do. Let's do the checks. All right. Fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Alright, let's see. 
What do we have here? The hang-ups. Stab in the twilight. The word. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Will you give me a minute? I'm trying to decide which one I want to play. Oh, I don't like her already. Okay, which one do I want? The record box is on the left, and the I record get player it. is Shut on the up. right. Shut up. Why can't pick I? Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Then hit play. I know. I just want to pick the one that I want. Let's go with this one. The hang-ups. I like the art. Okay, stick it on the turntable. Stick it on the turntable. There we go. The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Then hit play. I, I get it. She's told me this three times because I'm a little bit slow. Got it. I got it. What now? Great. Now turn it off. There you go. You happy? All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Okay. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Line one. Oh, right here, I see. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? <laughs> yeah, I is there? I haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Peggy button, okay. Uh, press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Call me a turkey. <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. S wait, what? Sound blaster? Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay. Play a record. Okay. And then change the volume. Okay. I did it. I did what Slider you asked. should be right in front of you. Like, directly in front. I did it. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. I pressed the volume button because I thought that's what she wanted me to do. Okay. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. All right. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. All right. I point 16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16 The Scream Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening Guess that scream This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas Here's how it works I'm gonna play you a scream Then you call and Guess that scream We need you to guess why they're screaming did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or <laughs> discover the corpse of a loved one? Oh my. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Okay. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Did you? Forrest, I'm... you do have the tape right. You knew I we guess. were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. It is. No, I, I don't have the tape. 
Okay. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Are you serious? All right. Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Are you kidding? Sorry I don't... Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. Okay, well, here goes nothing. All right, which scream do we want to use? There's a Yeti scream, falling from cliff, the drowning scream. Let's do falling from cliff. I think that sounds interesting. Wowza. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. <laughs> fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Okay, am I supposed to play it again? There we go. Should I introduce the song? Timed responses. So, we'll just say yes. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. I want to explore a little bit. This is a pretty cool looking place. I oh, really do Forrest, like it. There's a call coming in. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, okay, I know what to do. Kind of. Okay, press. It's kind of hard to navigate this. Controls are a little wonky. Welcome to 189.16 the scream caller you're talking to forrest nash what's going on with you tonight forrest thank god i made it through my name is leslie harper i'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for gallows creek are you calling to guess that scream slow night i'll do the guess that scream welcome to the show leslie are you calling in to guess that scream as a 911 operator I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. My help? <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup? Yeah. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. It's in Forrest, my contract. I really don't think this is a prank. You should call the sheriff. Are you serious? Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. <gasps> what? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Oh no. I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? Is there anyone else at the station? I'll ask that. Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, oh tied my. up, and locked in a holding cell. Oh. I called you right after I found her. Why me? Uh, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> we have three. <laughs> we have three. Gunners. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, 
Who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Oh. No, this is a bad idea. You can count on me. Uh, I'll say why me. I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 no operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Really? You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, I find that hard to believe. There are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hmm. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Oh, God. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Okay, so I do want to make it very clear that I am not trying to get the best ending here. I'm not trying to save everyone. I'm going to answer these questions and do these things the way I would do in real life. Just putting that out there before we continue. All right, try to break down the door, find another way into the cell, find another set of keys. Whew. I guess I'll say try to find another set of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check the officer's desks. Check Sheriff Matthews. Let's say Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Okay. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. Poor Leslie. I'm just gonna turn you over and oh. please don't stare at me. Oh. I. Oh wait, that might be them. I I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Yes. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. Okay. Perfect. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? How am I feeling? I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm going to say I think we can handle this. Let's be positive. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. <laughs> yeah, same Come girl. On, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. Oh my. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. It's the right thing to do. You're leaving. We're on our own. I'll say it's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh shoot. Oh what? shoot. My car! My car is on fire! Oh no. What do you mean it's oh, on no. fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Oh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Wait. What? No, no. Oh, gosh. No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. Oh, no. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. What do you oh know, Peggy? God. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? Is he mask. dead? How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Oh, my. Who's the whistling man? Killer back in the 50s wore that mask, but he's dead. He's, he's a copycat what the killer. Hell? 
Oh, God. Do you think... Oh, I think what? Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way! Maybe. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. That was right. timed. I don't like timed things. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think! Okay, run for it. Hide in the station. Hide in the station. I think you need to stay put and hide in the station. You should be safe in there. We can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. And what if he gets in? What if he finds us? <laughs> there should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me okay. check if Martinez has any... Uh... He'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. Okay. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But Thanks. Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? That's why I said stay. Is right there. Oh, gosh. Um, well, who does it matter whose gun I take? Oh, gosh, I don't know. If she takes Martinez's gun, then I guess the killer wouldn't have a gun to get to? I don't know. We're going to go Deputy with that. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I okay, guess then take the, the other one. Man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. What does it matter? I... Oh, Shit. that's what matters. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Is there a weapon lockup? Can you see any other weapons? What does weapon lockup mean? I'll, I'll ask this. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Yeah, do that. It's intense. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton pepper spray, and taser. Okay. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Uh, okay. I'm gonna go with taser. That That's what I would take. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... <sighs> Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Can you still see the whistling man? Maybe the freak left. Let's say... Oh, gosh. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Oh, God. I don't want her to die. I like okay. her. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? I'm not sure no about time this. like the present, right? So, here we go. Gotta do Again, what you gotta do, girl. You're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Oh gosh. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Okay. We'll we'll say it with a peppy uh, explanation point. Explanation point. Exclamation point. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. No kidding. God, I hope she makes it through this. Me too. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Well, that makes sense. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Do we? I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Oh. Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Nope. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Oh, gosh. You go, Leslie. Get out of Leslie, there. Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Okay. Uh, are you two okay? Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. 
Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Oh, gosh. That long. We'll do our best. You better floor it. I'll say that long. Two to three hours each way? We have to fill in for that long. That's the way it is. I'll be back as fast as I can. Anyway, once I'm in... I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Okay. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Uh, take care. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <sighs> that was scary. So you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We are, Leslie. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. Yeah, please we'll do. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. We're called now, The Scream. Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Okay, pick a record. We'll go this one. And play. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Oops. <laughs> no reason for it. No motive. He just did. Okay, what happened to him? And he's come back tonight, so we're screwed. <laughs> so we won't say that. We'll say, okay, what happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. Okay. We call it Whistling Point now. Oh. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. Oh. His body was never found. Ew. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. Mm. All right, that's the story. But what's the truth? Good question. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. All right. We'll do our best. Guess we'll find out. So we're screwed. <laughs> Uh, we'll say we'll do our best. All right. Copycat or ghost killer. I, <laughs> ghost I killer. guess we'll do our best. That's That'd the be spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. Yep. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Oh, I can leave. Could Interesting. Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people <laughs> at best. Oh, my. 35 at best. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners. 35, that's nothing. 35 at best. 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Like yeah. Johnny Fever. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Yeah, no five kidding. Five million. Million? Million? My. Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Wow. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. I yeah, guess. I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh my. Take it when you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Okay. Yes, I can do that. I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I move these? Set them down. Where? 
We have a call waiting. Yes, I know. I'm trying to remember how to set things down. I don't remember. Okay. Well, we all know my memory is shot. We're just going to press the button. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Gosh, I hope so. <sighs> Flip, no. You hang up this phone right now. Uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? How dare you? You little piece of crap. Get out of here. Stop. Hang up that phone. I'm okay. going to hang up on What's you. What's your name and why are you calling in? You are a little piece of crap. You know my name. Oh, you're so funny. I've come back from the dead to kill again. Come back from the no dead, stupid head. Safe. No one's safe. You don't have to do this. Do you accept requests? What does that mean? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe same, Forrest, same. You must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us? I, I mean, <laughs> me. <laughs> we want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or Get out of here. I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut them off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega goal. For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Oops. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Uh, sure. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Sounds pretty good. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. Oh, gosh. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. No, it there's isn't. There's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... No. That's real. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. Yeah, yeah. We already have another caller on the line. Oh, right. my. Let's do this. Oh, gosh. And I my headphones I are in the way. I take this call. Yeah, I, I'm aware. I'm just Hello, a little slow. caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. Oh my. The cops aren't coming. The sheriff is dead. Let's say the shop the cops I'm I'm nervous. I'm not being able to speak properly. Let's say the cops aren't coming. I don't think it's a good idea to tell poor Sandra or Sandra that the sheriff is dead. Let's not say that. It's a little bit more of a calm answer. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Oh my. Knife in hand. Ugh. Oh God, it's actually happening. Where are you now? A jazz run. Bad night to go out for a run. Well, yes, I, I would say so. But let's say, where are you now? I feel like this isn't super helpful. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran baby. all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door, at least I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. Let's not say that. I, I, I genuinely do not think she'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Let's say that. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... I'm scared. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know a thing about cars. 
Me neither. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Oh, frick wait, no, wait, wait, honey. I don't... I thought that said sweatpants for a second. <laughs> You're listening to 189.16, The Girl. Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and savior. Oh my gosh. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. How am I going to help Sandra? No. Because I'm playing the same song Doesn't I did before. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Yeah, I need help. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. Hm. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. Sweaty and defensive. The offices defensive. are out the door and down the hall. Remind me what I'm looking for Remind again. Remind me what I'm looking for again. I didn't hear the that. The caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Okay, motors. yeah, but what yeah. am I supposed to do? I would go see what they have on their desk at the far end of uh, the Oh, office. okay, okay. Thanks, Peggy. All right, okay, I totally, totally didn't catch on to that. I don't like the flickering lights, but this is very cool. Love this. Flickering lights, a little bit scary, but I love the vibe in here. Got any coffee? We do, but there's none in the pot. Can I make coffee? I actually don't know how to use a coffee machine. I know how to use a Keurig. <laughs> I know how to make instant coffee. Far end, okay, that's bathroom, bathroom. So many locked doors, so few keys. Okay. What about this one? Is this what I'm looking for? far end of the office so that would be this way i'm assuming okay so what what is this no this this looks like it might be helpful now this has to be important yeah oh twins i've borrowed your car theft magazine those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right gonna need something to read pray for me oh my oh my okay so Craft and work. The creepy hour. That sounds like something I'd probably want to read. Oh, what's this? Oh, I didn't mean to throw it. <laughs> okay, pick that up. Grilling spree. Add, okay. Okay, so I don't know if we are supposed to collect tapes because there was a tape stand tape deck i don't i don't know what it's called but <laughs> there's a place to place but there is a place to set cassette tapes down back in the studio all right so i finally figured it out uh that was telling us to go in the bathroom right open Nothing here wait wait oh yep that was the problem i went into the women's bathroom like an idiot <laughs> okay Let's go into the men's. And... Yep, open. And there we go, there we go. I was in a panic for a second. Okay, wait, I can touch the toilet seat before I can grab this. <laughs> okay, move door. This looks useful. There we go. Finally. I don't, I don't like being in tight spaces, even in video games. I don't, I don't like it. I'm a little bit claustrophobic. So let's get out of there and let's go back in here. Opening doors in this game is a little bit strange, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I think I can put the tape here. There we go, okay. So now we have Peggy to talk to. You find anything? I yeah, did. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. There we go. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Line one. Oh gosh, guys, it's about to be bad news bears. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Oh gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Inspect. Ugh. Why is this weird? It's wonky. It's wonky weird. Okay, there we go. 
Use a screwdriver as a key. If that fails, remove the steering column cover. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. It doesn't say anything about clockwise, but we're gonna say that anyway. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Okay, uh, remove the steering wheel column cover. Hit the steering wheel with a hammer. Yeah, that'll do it. Unscrew the steering column. All right, just turn, just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh God, how long are these screws? Okay, covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up and oh God, my heart is pumping. Yeah, mine too. You're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay. I'll just say you're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. I can do this. There's a red wire. A Oops. No. Wire, no. A yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna have to ask her what the serial number on the column is. Yeah, okay, okay. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Oh, God. oh, okay, thank God it says, all right. Okay, so there is a four before a three and there is a seven. So it would be red and blue, right? Strip the blue and red wires and twist them together. Okay, here we go. Blue and red and twist and turn and... Oh! Oh! Oh, it won't turn off! Oh, do this to me, jazz radio. Creeping wires going into the stereo. What do we do? Uh, um, um, if the radio turns on and won't turn off, cut the left pink wire. Cut the left wire. No, no, I need that. Strip the brown no, and green no, wires no, I didn't and trust. twist them together. Let's get some results. We did oh, God. Green. No, that's not twist what I meant. That's not the results we want. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, my God. killed Sandra. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sandra. I'm so sorry, Sandra. You didn't deserve that. <sighs> that poor woman. <sighs> Folks, Gallows Creek just lost one of its own. No! Everyone, please stay home. <sighs> stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned. This next track is dedicated to Sandra. Taken oh, too soon. Oh man, okay, so that was killer frequency, you guys. I accidentally killed Sandra. I didn't mean to. I was trying to look at the magazine and I accidentally picked the wrong answer by mistake. So, you know, my my bat, but I, I could have saved her if, if I hadn't screwed that up. <laughs> But this game is insanely cool and so unique. I can't wait to play more. So if you want more episodes, then please hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and until the next one, have a groovy day.